This question has been taken from page 151, question number 5. Show that the line y is equal to 3x minus 4 is a tangent to the parabola y is equal to 3x squared plus 5. Uh, give the coordinates of the points where the line touches the curve. Okay, so this is, I have Googled this image. So this is a parabola, this is a line. So this is what it means that a line is a tangent. That means it intersects the parabola at only one point. So this is what we want to find. So this is not exactly this form, uh, this parabola. And uh, this is only an image to give you an understanding that this is a tangent. A tangent is a line with which just touches the curve. So you want to find the point of intersection. So let me write the equation. So y is equal to 3x minus 4. And you got y is equal to 4x squared. 4x squared minus 9x plus 5. So for point of intersection, you can equate this with this. So let me write for point of intersection, for point of intersection. Point of intersection, your x coordinate and your y coordinate are going to be equal. So we can say this is equal to this. I can say 4x squared minus 9x plus 5 is equal to 3x minus 4. So now I want to make it a quadratic equation. So this is 4x squared minus 9x plus 5. So take away 3x plus 4 equal to 0. So this simplifying further. So this is 4x squared. So this is minus 9x minus 3x is minus 12x. And 5 plus 4 is 9 is equal to 0. Okay. So yeah, I want to find uh, the solution of this. So you can use, uh, this is the two factors. So let me, how you can do in different ways. But the easiest way is to multiply 9 and 4. This 9, the first thing that you have to do is you have to multiply this two. So 4 times 9 is 36. So the two factors of 36, the two factors of 36, which adds to give you 12. Okay. So which are the two factors of 36, which gives you 12? Now both the factors have to be negative because you want a negative year and you want a positive year. So it's negative 6x and negative 6x. Or negative 6 and negative 6. Okay negative 6 and negative 6. So I'm going to split this like this. So this is 4x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 9 equal to 0. So what I've done is simply, if you think about it, I have so written minus 12x as minus 6x minus 6x. Now you have to make these two groups. So what is common here? So 2x is common. So you've got 2x minus 3 here. And what can you factor out here? So you can factor out a negative 3. So to write 2x minus 3. I hope you know this. I'll also show you how you can do the same thing on a graphic calculator. So this is nothing but 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. This means you can say 2x minus 3, the whole squared is equal to 0. So this means logically this has to be 0 because 0 squared can only give you 0. So you can say, well, 2x minus 3 is should be 0, which implies 2x has to be 3 because 3 minus 3 gives you 0. So x is 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So x is 1.5. So you can get only one solution here. Though it's a quadratic equation, you got only one solution. So let's, uh, you can do this graphically and also solve it uh, on an equation menu. So let me show you that. So get your graphic calculator out. So we solve this equation. We're talking about this equation. So go to graph or go to equation first and go to polynomial and second degree. So the, the A is the coefficient of x squared. So you type in 4 there. Execute. Negative 12. 
and plus 9. And then you go to solve, you get 3 over 2, which is 1.5 twice. Okay. Now, if you under, if you want to understand this graphically, if you graph this equation, if you type in 4x x squared minus 12x, 12x plus 9, this will be a parabola, which is just passing through 1.5. So if you go g solve and the root, can you see this is a parabola which is just passing through over uh, x 1.5 x is equal to 1.5 or on the x-axis 1.5 so this is your that's why you have got only one solution okay so yeah you got only one solution so now you know y is equal to what is y you can either use this formula or this formula so y is equal to 3x minus 4 y is equal to 3x minus 4 which is 3 times 1.5 minus 4. So 3 times 1.5 is 4.5 minus 4 which is y is equal to 0 0.5. So you can see the point of intersection POI, the short form that I have made up which is 1.5 comma 0 0.5. So this is how you do it algebraically. Let's do this whole question alg uh, uh, graphically. To give you an idea, you got this equation. So let me type in again 3x minus 4 is your line, and this is your parabola. Okay, so in y2, you type in 4x squared minus 9x plus 5. So this is a point of intersection. Okay, can you see this is a tangent? To see this better, so let me scroll up. So then you go G sol and intersection 1.5, 0.5 is the point of intersection.